616953. Uh, I'm the head of code. Participate in the FDC Robotics Challenges. This is going to be the first video in uh, Plethora where we guide newer teams into how to code for FTC Robotics. So the first step to this is going to just be do downloading your IDE and programs you're going to need to collaborate with your teammates. So the first thing you want to do is type in Android Studio Download and then first link download. Uh, if you have Linux or Mac, you're going to have to go to download options and change it for you. But for Windows users, just click download Android Studio. I have read and agree with the terms above. And I start downloading it. And that's going to take like 20 seconds. And at the same time, you can download git from git-scm.org. Go to downloads. Windows and then 64 bit. This is for me though. If you have Mac or Linux, you're gonna have to go to your respective operating system. So once these files are open, you're gonna open either one, doesn't matter the order. Agree to security. And then Git's gonna be the more complicated one. So you click next. This allows you to change where to actually download it in, like which folder on your computer. For me, the program file is fine. And then with Git, there's a bunch of tinier, more advanced options. Uh, for most people and for FTC, it's fine if you just click next through all of these as like you don't need to change any of them. Uh, the next thing is going to be Android Studio. This is where you're going to actually be coding in. Git is more so for collaboration. So you're going to open up the Studio Launcher. Click Next. Next. Again, here you can change where it downloads to on your computer. I'm fine with just going to Program Files again. Next and Install. So that'll start installing. Uh, once Git's installed, just click Finish and it should yeah take the tab. Uh, just to double check that it actually um, was downloaded properly, because if not, you're gonna have a headache later. Open up your command prompt or equivalent on your operating system and type in git dash dash version. Here you can see that the version I have is 2.3 points, uh, 2.36.1, which matches the tab that was open. If it doesn't, re download git or first launch, relaunch command prompts. This means git was installed properly, so we're good on that front. Studio installation complete. Next, finish. Studio is now open. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to download the starter code that uh, at first gives you. So you're going to go to github.com. If you don't have an account, make an account. Once you are logged in, go to the homepage by clicking on the top left and search or jump to and look up FTC Robot Control. And then you should look for something that starts with first tech challenge or FTC. Here you should see the all the files that you'll need for FTC coding. So click on the green code button and just copy that for right now. Actually, you don't need to see it. What you're gonna want to do is go to downloads and make a folder uh, that will store all of this code so you can edit it privately. So just new. I'm just going to call it Robotics. Or, well, she's actually, um, I'm going to call it Tutorial. Because I already have a folder for Robotics. And then you go here and copy the address for this folder. You're going to go to CMD. And type in CD. And then paste that. So now you're actually in this folder as designated by this like starter heading. Then you click on the screen code button, copy, go back here, and type in git clone, and then paste the link like that, and paste. We'll download all of it into your folder, as you can see here. Here it's 
change the directory to go into this folder. So you're going to do CD and then this name, which is FTC Robotics Controller. So CD FTC Robot Controller. And now we're actually in the folder. So you're going to go get remote and you should see that it says origin. Uh, if it doesn't say origin, re-download because this is going to be important later when you upload this to your public repository to collaborate with teammates, which we'll go over in the next video.